hello and welcome to ILE TV's Evening Update. I'm Aaron Porras here with the latest news from Israel. Israeli prison officials have foiled another attempt to smuggle mobile phones to jailed terrorists in the Ketziot prison in southern Israel. This follows revelations that an Arab MK allegedly snuck in cellular devices to Fatah-related terrorist prisoners. Searches were conducted in visitation rooms in prisons all across the Jewish state after the alleged smuggling of two phones by Israeli Arab MK Basel Gatas. Prison guards in Ketziot prison discovered that a panel around the glass partition separating prisoners from visitors had been pulled open and then replaced. When they took it apart, guards discovered eight cell phones hidden in the panel. The phones were apparently left to be picked up later by an imprisoned terrorist through the panel on the opposite side of the partition. Prison officials say they think the phones were intended for members of the Islamic Jihad terror group. Female lawmakers and women's groups in Israel slammed the prison parole board decision on Sunday to allow for the early release of former president Moshe Katsav, who has served five years out of his seven-year sentence for rape. A statement by the Israel Women's Network said it is inconceivable that a man who hurt so many women over the years, while taking advantage of his position and authority, and has never expressed any remorse for his actions, will receive a prize in the form of early release. Meretz MK's Zahava Galon, Michal Rosen, and Tamar Zanberg released a joint statement saying the parole board ignored the public interest and broadcast a dangerous message, that you can harm women and get out of it at a low price, especially if you're connected. The parole board said it approved Katsav's request for parole as he apparently did express remorse for his actions. Palestinian forces removed three lawmakers from the offices of the International Committee of the Red Cross in Ramallah on Sunday after the three had sought refuge there. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas lifted the parliamentary immunity last week of MPs Shami Shami, Najat Abu Bakr, and Jamal Tirawi in order to level charges against them. The three had just appealed for protection by the international community. The parliamentarians were released after leaving the building and have not yet been charged, but they are likely to soon be accused of embezzlement, weapon smuggling, defamation, and insults against the ruling party. The move to strip them of immunity is seen as an attempt by Abbas to tighten his grip on power. The three men are all allies of Mohammed Dalan, the former Gaza leader and rival to Abbas, who was ousted from Fatah by Abbas in 2010. The cabinet approved a 1.2 billion shekel cut to the 27-2018 state budget on Sunday in order to fund the transfer of the Amona settlement, establish the new public broadcasting corporation, and construct new schools in ultra-Orthodox communities. 10 million shekels will be cut from the Prime Minister's office, 32 million shekels from the Public Security Ministry, 168 million shekels from the Defense Ministry, and 88.6 million shekels from the Education Ministry. Other ministries will also see cuts to their budgets, as will local municipalities. The cuts amount to 1.25% of the total budget of each ministry. 70 million shekels will be allocated for the relocation of the residents of Amona. Yeshatid Party Chairman Ofer Shelach slammed the budget cuts, saying that they will hurt the services that we are all entitled to as citizens. After two long years of hard work raising over a hundred heritage Jacob sheep in Canada and now moving them to Israel, a simple threat could put an end to it all. The sheep are named Jacob sheep in reference to the book of Genesis, where it is written that Jacob, the grandson of Abraham, took as payment for himself all the speckled and brown and spotted sheep and goats from a flock he had tended to. The breed is rare and is thought to be more or less unchanged for nearly 3,000 years. Soon after bringing the first hundred sheep to the Jewish state, however, heavy rains and flooding have left one dead and 40 sick. As part of the agreement to import the livestock, the agriculture ministry ruled that the sheep must be quarantined for a time and under very specific regulations. Gil and Jenna Lewinsky, the Canadian shepherds who are behind the incredible journey, found such a place to quarantine the animals. But due to the weather conditions and the state of the shelters they found, the Lewinskys are afraid that nearly 90% of their flock might not survive the winter. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Aaron Porras, and see you later with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time.